Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make a day or night button in Roblox Studio. So how the system is going to work is there is going to be a GUI inside of the game that the player is able to then go click. Once that GUI has then been clicked, it is then going to change the time to something else. So whatever our time may be, so let's say our normal daytime would be 10 a.m. Then if the player clicks on the button, it then changes it to nighttime. And let's say our nighttime could be 10 o'clock, so 10 p.m. So then if we had to go and click on the button when we first join in and our time is 10 a.m., it'll then change the time for that single player to 10 p.m. Same thing, then if we wanted to change it back from our nighttime to our daytime, because now we're on our nighttime, let's say we, at the time is currently 10 a.m., uh, sorry, 10 p.m., we will then click on the GUI and then it will be changed back to the daytime. Something to keep in mind, this system does not support day and night cycles. So if you've got a constantly ticking over uh, clock time that is constantly changing and you've inserted that type of script, this system will not work with that. So you can either choose to have the day or night cycle or to have the, um, the day or time chooser. It's or the day or time button. It's up to you. So for starters, we actually want to go and create our GUI. So we want to head over here to where it says start a GUI, click on the plus button and insert a screen GUI. We then want to click on the plus button next to our screen GUI and insert a frame. Now this is just going to be really where we are holding our, I guess you could say buttons. And this is going to be going across the screen. Keep in mind, you don't necessarily need to use a frame, but it's just if you're having multiple GUIs. For this tutorial, we're not having any multiple GUIs, but we this is just I guess you could say standard protocol when you go and create GUI. So inside of a frame, click on the plus button and insert. Then if you're wanting a text button or an image button, that's to you. I'm going to be using a text button for this tutorial and our GUI or our button is just going to be located here just to the left. Now keep in mind, it doesn't really matter where you go and put this button as long as you have a text button and then a local script inside of that text button, you've got no problem. You can put this inside of your Game Pass GUI really wherever it or your settings menu it's really up to you where you're going to put it but this is just for demonstration purposes it you don't need the frame anyway we've got our text button we now want to go and customize our text button so we're just going to go and change the text here so we're going to change it from source sans pro to we'll do that one and then we'll go and do text scale so that it scales our text automatically and we can leave it just like that. There's not much more we can do. We're just going to add maybe a bit of a UI corner, which then goes and makes our corners nicely, nicely curved. Then we'll change that to 13. So now we've got like a bit of a round button there. So now depending on what time your game is actually beginning. So let's say your game, when the player joins into the game, let's say when they join into the game, that it's daytime. Then you'd go and write this. You'd go and write change to night because we are currently in the daytime wanting to change it to the night. But let's say your game was starting in the uh, night time, you'd then go and change the text to change to day. So whatever, whatever the time is currently, opposite that you wanna go and put that on the GUI because this will be used a little later on. You then wanna click on the plus button next to your text button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted the local script inside of your text button, you wanna head down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio and paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of your local script inside of the text button, we want to head over here just to our main base plate for now. We'll come back to the script and change what we need to change. But we want to firstly go and change what the time is inside of our game. So depending on what type of game you're having will depend. If you've maybe got a horror game, you'd maybe want your game to be, when you join in, it to be nighttime when you join in. So to do this, you go to your lighting, you go to the properties, and then you go to clock time. And then we change this. On default, it's set to half past two in the afternoon, but I'm gonna be changing this over to 12 because now we are wanting it to be bang on midday. Now, let's say you're wanting it to maybe be the middle of the night, let's say midnight. You'd go and change it to 12 to zero. That basically means midnight. But let's say you're wanting maybe only, let's say 11 p.m. in the evening. You change this to 23 simply because Roblox operates in a 24 hour time. It doesn't work PM and AM, it only works with 24 hour time. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be setting it to 12 because this is gonna be the time that we're changing it. So our time, when we go and click change tonight, it's gonna to be then changing to let's say maybe midnight, which would be zero. So our standard time is 12. And then when we go and click that GUI, it's then gonna be changing over to midnight. 
So once you've gone and changed your clock time, you want to head back here to the local script and open up your local script. So now here on line one, it goes local game lighting. This basically identifies our game lighting. So it goes to the game and then it goes to the folder, which is our lighting. And that is our game lighting. Line two, it then goes local GUI button. And this identifies our GUI button that the player is going to be clicking, which is script.parent. So the script into the parent of the script, which is our GUI button. Then line four, it goes GUI button dot mouse button one click. It then creates a function. So if the GUI button is clicked, it then goes and creates a function. So if our clock time is 12 p.m., then it's going to be changing over to 10 p.m. Now, obviously, depending on what your starter time in your game is, will depend on what this is. Let's say your starter time in your game is 6 p.m., the time that we changed a little earlier. Let's say your time is 6 a.m., then you change it to 6. If your starting time of your game is 6 p.m., then it would be 18. Really, go and change it to whatever you want. And then whatever you want your night time time to be you can change that here I've set it to 10 p.m. but let's say you wanted it to be 11 p.m. 23 you want it to be midnight zero but for this tutorial I'm gonna keep it as 22 now basically what is happening here is the reason why we've got an if statement is because if our game dot lighting equals 12 o'clock so if our current time is 12 o'clock and the player clicks the button It'll, it is then going to be changing over to 10 p.m. And then it goes and changes the GUI button, changes the text to change today. Now, basically what this is doing is if our time is currently 12 p.m. So our, oh sorry, to, uh, yes, 12 p.m. If our game is currently in the daytime, which is 12 p.m., then it is going to be changing over to nighttime because we are changing to the night and 22 is 10 p.m. It then goes and changes the text, which changes this text from change tonight to change today because now we are changing the text so that when the time is actually night then so when the time is night time it then allows us to then go and change it back to day now what happens here so because now we check that if our time is 12 p.m. Uh, sorry yes 12 p.m. in the day it then changes it to that else if our time is not then 12 then it then changes the clock time to 12 so if the uh, player clicks on the button and the time is not currently 12 then it will be changed back to 12 simply because this is what makes it goes go to night and this is what makes it go to day because what is happening here as we mentioned before if our time is currently 12 it then changes to 10 p.m. if our time is not 12 o'clock meaning it would be then 10 p.m. then it changes our time to 12 p.m. which basically is changing us back to day then here it, on line 10, it then goes GUI button, changes the text to change to night. Because now our time is 12 p.m., we are now changing our GUI button text back to change to night. Exactly what we did here on line 7, when our time was 10 p.m., 10 p.m., we changed our text to change today. So depending on what you want your times to be, you go and change that all accordingly. So keep in mind, this is our daytime. This is our night time, and then that is also our day time. And I've gone and added some notes here so you guys can have a little bit of a look through there. But you can also go and change your text here. So what you can go do, you can go and change um, the text that is shown on your GUI button. So when we first join in, it's going to be changed to night or changed to day. But then when we go and click it, it's going to be changed to change to day, according, uh, depending on what your current time is. So if you wanted to go and change this to day, you just go and remove change to. And there you have it. But we're just going to be keeping it as change today. But if you want to go put some other random text in there, feel free. So that's all we need to do. As long as you've gone and matched up the uh, the game's uh, main clock time, that is um, the current clock that is running in your game when you first join in, as long as that is the same to the one in the script, it will work no problem. And then obviously then go and select your nighttime time, which the player player's time is going to be changing to. So we want to head over here, click on the play button, and let's go test it out. So as you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and it is currently 12 p.m. You can see the sun is right above us, and it has given us a nice, as you can see, it's clearly daytime. Anyway, and now if we go and click change to night, what will happen is now it has gone and changed our game to nighttime. But now, what will happen then, as you can see, our text went and changed from change to night to change today because what we are now doing is we are changing back today so if a player wanted to change to daytime you can see I could just click on the button again and then I would be changing the time to daytime 
same thing happened again. It is currently daytime, it is currently 12 p.m. If we go click on change tonight, you have to see the time is now 10 p.m. But now what's even cooler is because it is a local script, it means it is a client-sided script, which basically means that even if you go and change it, your specific character, let's say you're player one and player two, even though you go and change it on your screen or in your game, it will not interfere with any other player in the game, simply because it is not a server script. So as you guys can see, we're now here in the base plate with player one and player two, just to show you that it is a client-sided script. Now basically what that means is, even if I go and change tonight here on player one account, it will not go and change player two. So if I go click on change tonight, you're able to see on player one account, it is currently 10 p.m. in the evening. But on player's two account, it is not currently anything. It's, it's, it's currently 12 at noon, the game, the time that we set it on. So if we go and click on change tonight here, you're able to see, okay, now I've changed tonight. But let's say, oh, no, no, actually, I don't want to be at night. I want to be at the daytime. Then they're able to change back and see, oh, okay, lovely. It's nice, nice sunny day. I can do, go do what I want. So really, it is more of a client-sided, basically meaning that no matter what you go and change it to, it will not affect any other player. So as you saw there, I changed the night and that didn't affect anything on player two screen. Same thing here, player two goes and does it. You're able to see I go and change tonight here on player two account. It does not affect anything on player one side. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we can happily help you out. But in a way guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. And if you really did enjoy, please do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.